Welcome to the Castle Museum of Medellin, a genuine medieval Gothic style castle right here in Medellin, Colombia. Hey everyone and welcome. I'm at a really special place here in Medellin, a place that until recently I didn't really even know existed. And I've been living in Medellin for more than two and a half years now. And this place blew me away. This is called El Museo Castillo or the Castle Museum of Medellin. And it is incredible. And I'm very lucky because today I've been offered a special tour of the property inside and out. And I'm gonna be able to show you some of the best attractions of this beautiful property. So uh, enjoy, this is gonna be an awesome experience. This place is so cool, I really, really love it. I'm so surprised that this is in the med middle of Medellin. It's this huge property. Beautiful gardens, amazing little water feature in the center. It's cool, I'm really enjoying it. You have to come here. Originally built as a family home in 1930, this castle was then converted to a museum in 1971. And along with its permanent collection of antique furniture and arts, it also hosts regular exhibitions throughout the year, such as this exhibition of unique dolls from around the world. The exhibition room is the only indoor room where photography and filming are allowed. However, you can join a tour of the entire castle and learn about its fascinating history from the very knowledgeable staff. You can check the Castle Museum's website for their current exhibitions. You'll find a link in the description box below this video. I learned that this castle was originally owned by Francisco Jose Tobon Uribe, a wealthy doctor and owner of a local chain of pharmacies. And after his death in 1942, the castle was purchased by a local philanthropist, Diego Echevarria Misas, and his wife, Benedicta Surniden, who expanded the castle and decorated it with valuable European and American artworks. In 1971, after the sad death of Diego Echevarria Misas, his wife Benedicta donated the castle and all of its original furnishings and artworks to the city of Medellin, and it was then converted into the museum that it is today, which holds significant cultural importance to the city. In addition to the museum, why not spend an hour or two wandering around the huge garden areas? dine in the outdoor restaurant, have a picnic in the garden, participate in an art course and much more. Well, I have just had a private tour from the staff here. And by the way, the staff here are really, really, really friendly. They've been so nice and so welcoming and so kind. Um, I had a tour, one-to-one -one tour, and I learned about the history of this place. And I just found out that it's not a replica. Excuse the plane flying by. It's not a replica, it's actually a real castle which was modeled on uh, castles from France. And it was built 90 years ago, more than 90 years ago now. Fascinating place, really, really beautiful. And as I said before, you know, you have to come here if you come to Medellin. It's fascinating. It has beautiful antiques inside, beautiful uh, furniture. Uh, you can learn about the history, uh, beautiful artwork. And, um, just one more thing to do. I'm going to be trying a picnic lunch here as well, which uh, the, the, the hosts have very kindly offered. And uh, that will be all for today. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, make sure you come here. It's amazing. Uh, I wanted to say a big thank you to the staff here who are so, so friendly. They offered me this beautiful lunch uh, for filming here. And I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really going to enjoy it. Come along, have a picnic lunch here because the gardens are beautiful. Medellin is famous for its beautiful spring weather all year round. Um, generally in Medellin, it rains a little in the afternoons, but if you come in the earlier in the day, in the mornings or the early afternoon, generally you're gonna have beautiful weather, nice and sunny and warm, and you're really gonna enjoy this place. It's incredible, I love it so much. Thank you again. So here I have a vegetarian sandwich for me. 
uh, a fruit salad, a drink, some peanuts and some potato chips. Nice little afternoon lunch. Well, we're at the end of a really amazing afternoon. I had such a good time. As I said before, the staff are so friendly, so kind, and I really wanted to say a big thank you. Uh, they provided me with a picnic lunch and uh, let, uh, and also a private tour of the building, which was really, really kind. And unlike many places, they also allowed me to fly my drone and to do photography. Uh, it's something that is really appreciated. So thank you very, very much to the staff at Castillo. Museo Castillo Medellin, make sure you come here. If you're planning to do photography on the castle grounds, please contact the museum in advance because prior permission is required. Also, please check the video description box below for information on how to get to the museum. I really hope you enjoyed the Castle Museum of Medellin. It was so much fun filming that video and I really had such a great time. I can't wait to go back again. And uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know or leave me a comment. Hit the subscribe button because I have two awesome videos coming up very soon. One is Comuna 13 or District 13 of Medellin, which is a really, really fascinating area of the city. And I just returned from New York City, so I can't wait to show you that video as well. All of that is and a lot more coming up very, very soon. So enjoy. You know, I'm having an awesome, awesome time making these videos, but I'm not doing it just for me. I'm doing it for you too. So please let me know whatever you want to see. I'm going to try to film much more in this amazing city, Medellin, and some other international destinations all that and much more coming up very soon. So thank you so much for being a part of this experience. You guys are the best. See you in the next video.